Hey, welcome back to the lab, and yeah, we're gonna be working at the old bench today. You know what? Tony, it's your lucky day. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. I'll I'll get there one of these days. But yeah, Tony, it's your lucky day. We'll be fixing your DX7 for you. Right, finally getting around to it. It's, it's been a while. All right, we got uh, Tony's uh, DX7S here, and uh, let's see what it does. Okay, change battery. Performance, change battery. All right, so it looks like we'll have to change the battery. All right, so uh, this is telling me that the non-volatile RAM in here has become, well, volatile. So the battery backup's dead and it's lost all of its patch memory. Insert cartridge. Well, we do not have a cartridge. So it's looking for patch data. And ideally, you'd uh, load it into this cartridge port here. Let's see. Buttons work. We get 11, 12, 13. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, 13's missing. Or also looks like there might be a bit of a a crack in the board there. I mean it it works, technically. <laughs> All right, so it kind of works. There, there are signs of life here. I can work with that. So let's tackle the most apparent problems first. We got a dead battery. Part of our button matrix over here doesn't work. Also, we're missing a key, but yeah, I, I got a replacement, don't worry. So let's uh, replace the battery and try to repair the damage to the PCB in here. All right, she's open. Our brains are sprawled out all over the bench. Now you see this down here? Backup battery. Yeah, back in the bad old days before all this stuff, they just uh, wire a battery to a RAM chip. Well, you know, because back in the day, flash memory was prohibitively expensive. So yeah, what I'm gonna do here is... Since these are just uh, standard 3-volt batteries... See, pretty much a CR2032 just spot-welded onto the board. There we go, all cleaned up. Where was I? Uh, Maryland, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna run some wires from the through hole mounts where the battery was. Let's see, solder them in, solder these here. Yep, still good. Now we got the battery running out here, so uh, in the next 20 years when the next service tech has to open this thing up and get to the battery, it's gonna be a bit less of a pain. Alright, now, this guy here, real real pain to get out. Not fun. Uh, but luckily, let's see, got a replacement set of buttons for over here. We'll get number 13 back. And this button, like, it might still work? It still clicks. However, uh, yeah, we'll just replace it. Oh, I think the worst part of the project might be right here. All of these traces have been severed. And I think these ones have been as well. Yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare. Heck. Yep. Hell yeah. Oh man, this board. It's crummier than a saltine cracker. It's sicker than a Joe Dart baseline. And it's got more bodge wires than a data general machine. But yeah, I think it'll pull through. Just don't press the buttons too hard. Alrighty, so Tony, your DX7 is now reassembled. Let's um let's give it a a bit of a listen and uh let's see what she does. Hey, that's new. A uh, voice. Insert cartridge. No. No, no sound. Uh, let's try. Um. Uh, there. I know there's a test mode built in. Hey. Oh. That. That's noise. Whoa. Okay, so uh, after a bit of troubleshooting, 
I found the sysx patch files for the DX7S, downloaded them, then uh, threw them into this software here called Bohm Send SX. I got my uh, Focusrite audio interface hooked up with the, the MIDI out, and that goes into the MIDI in. I hit uh, send here on the software. It says performance memory protected, which means, which means I just have to hit edit. I'll hit tune. I'll keep hitting that till I get to int protection on. And this is the, the, the internal memory. But since I want to overwrite all the corrupted data, I'll just hit off. I guess I'll turn the cartridge protection off too. There's, there's no cartridge, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, now I'll hit send again. Hey, it's receiving it. Utility edit bulk received. Okay, that, that should be good. Should, should work now. Let's go to performance. And we have a string patch. <laughs> All right. I've also loaded some of the other patches in too. So yeah, there you go, Tony. Have fun with it.